In this example, we will be evaluating the square root of 91. To do this, we're going to look for a decimal to the nearest tenths place that approximates the square root. We'll first take a look at perfect squares nearby to 91. 9 squared gives us 81. 10 squared gives us 100. So we can see that 91 falls between 81 and 100. So we can write the following inequality. The square root of 81 is less than the square root of 91, which is less than the square root of 100. And then we can rewrite the square root of 81 as 9. And we can write the square root of 100 as 10. Now we can see that the square root of 91 lies between 9 and 10. To find a tenths place approximation, we can try out values between 9 and 10 and see how close we can get to 91 when we square them. Let's try 9.5 squared. We'll do 9.5 times 9.5. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. 9 times 5 is 45, plus 2 is 47. Add our 0. 9 times 5 is 45, carry the 4. And then 9 times 9 is 81, plus 4 is 85. When we add these together, we end up getting 90.25. This is very close to 91, but we can try out 9.6 squared, or 9.6 times 9.6, to see if we can get ourselves closer. 6 times 6 is 36, carry the 3. 9 times 6 is 54, plus 3 is 57. Add our 0. 9 times 6 is 54, carry our 5. And then 9 times 9 is 81, plus 5 is 86. Now when we add these together, we end up getting 92.16. So 92.16 is 1.16 away from 91, while 90.25 is 0.75 away. So we can see that 90.25 is a little bit closer to 91 than 92.16 is. So this 9.5 squared gives us approximately 91. So we can say that the square root of 91 is approximately 9.5.